NASA's new X-59 supersonic jet arrived this month at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility in Palmdale for assembly, ahead of a flight test expected this year. NASA's X-59 is designed to fly at supersonic speeds without making sonic booms. Instead, because of its shape, it is expected to produce quieter sonic thumps that can barely be heard on the ground. The plane, called the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology, needed to be moved to Texas for a series of important structural tests designed to expose the aircraft to small and extreme stresses. The airplane's last stop had been Fort Worth, Texas, where it was subject to stress tests since December to take advantage of specialized equipment available in the Lone Star State. The X-59 will undergo further ground tests as it approaches full completion of its development and continues to make progress on its way to first flight. The X-59 represents NASA's latest effort to reduce the sonic booms associated with supersonic planes. While such vehicles move swiftly in the air, the cost is vibrations and noise as the airplanes exceed the speed of sound. This meant that past supersonic flyers, like the iconic Comcord that retired in 2003 after a generation of service, needed to be very careful about where they flew. Its maximum sound reached 105 decibels, about as loud as a nearby thunderstrike. NASA's goal is to collect and provide data to regulators that may finally solve the sonic boom challenge and open the future to commercial supersonic flight over land, reducing flight times drastically the agency said in the same statement. Construction of the X-59 at Skunk Works had made enough progress where all the major structural pieces, the wing, main body, tail, and nose, were assembled and power could be turned on to the vehicle for the first time. The company's Fort Worth facility is where the F-16 was built for many years. Test equipment still available needed some modifications to handle the X-59's longer nose compared to the F-16, but those changes didn't get in the way. NASA has three goals for the X-59's stay in Texas in terms of the structural proof tests. The first goal is to make sure that the airplane can handle the anticipated loads during flight. Loads, in this case, mean anything that would put pressure or stress on the aircraft structure. Typically, these kinds of stresses come when the airplane experiences rough air, makes quick turns, and during landing, among others. Since the plane isn't actually flying, tests are done with the aircraft sitting on hydraulic jacks that are connected directly with the structure. Arms that press down on areas of the airplane, such as the top of the wing, also are used. Bonanno explained the loads applied to the X-59 are 25% greater than any load it was designed to ever see in actual flight. Because the X-59 isn't a prototype for a series of aircraft, none of the tests are designed to see how much stress a part could take before it breaks. In any case, there are all sorts of safety features built into the testing, so that if anything we don't want happening is detected everything shuts off and the whole thing goes into a safe position.